Hello Virgos, and I'm here with a general reading for the sign of Virgos. Um, this will resonate with anyone who has Virgo strongly in their chart, um, but it may not fit for everyone. So please be discerning as you listen to the reading to make sure that it actually fits with you. You should come away with the, from the reading being inspired, being comforted, and having mu much more confidence than you might have had before, um, not feeling angered or um, vulnerable. So the, the point of this reading is to inspire is to encourage. So if you don't feel that way, if you, as you listen to the message, the reading might not be for you, my friends. Um, my beautiful Virgos, I welcome you to this table. I welcome you to this space. I'm glad you're here. And I look forward to the energy, to the story that's going to be brought forward to us today. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get right into this reading. If you don't like the shuffling, just move forward in the video to where the reading begins. I don't mind if you do that at all. Whatever, whatever you like, my friends. General energy, please. General energy for the sign of Virgo. General energy, please. General energy for this current period of time. For the sign of Virgo. What's happening with this group of Virgos as we speak? We have some flippers here. The hanged man and the seven of cups. So you could have some, you could have had a little bit of delay before this as you try to figure out what you were going to do. But now we're moving into a new energy, I feel. It's an optimistic energy. Yeah. It's an, it's an optimistic energy. There's something new here that's happening for this group of Virgos. Something new is happening here. All right. I think we're good. Just make sure as I make my way through the whole deck here. I like to pass through the whole deck before um, we lay out. All right, so this is current energy. Let's look at what Virgo is stepping into in the next immediate time frame. Um, this could be the next seven to 10 days, the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks. It's really hard to put a, a true date stamp on it because we are using the, the tool of tarot and tarot um, historically has not been totally accurate when it comes to timing. But I am asking my spiritual team to bring forward uh, messages that are for the next incoming period of time, which to me is a much shorter period of time than a year or even six months. We're looking at next month or next several months here for the next incoming period of time. even the next couple of weeks. It just depends on how fast you're moving. You know, if you if you think about it, if you're a Virgo, but you have Sagittarius as your moon, you're gonna, you might move much faster than if you were a Virgo and you have Capricorn as your moon. So just having a Virgo as a sun sign doesn't really um, tell us a whole lot. Um, we have to look at the whole picture of who we are. Guidance, please. Guidance for Virgos, please. Guidance, please, for Virgos. The Two of Cups has slipped over in the deck, and as I pass through the deck, I keep seeing it come into my radar. So it's interesting that I've that that's happening. I just flipped it back over now. I like to see the cards without knowing what they are. All right. Oh, I'm saying one more. Okay, let me. Okay. All right, let's get right into it, Virgo. Let's see what's here. Six of Wands, beautiful. King of Swords. Ten of Swords in the reverse. Knight of Swords. And Strength Energy.
Sorry, I just want to have it centered. It helps me <laughs> for some reason. Not quite sure. Well, Virgo, um, sometimes when I get into your all's energy, <sighs> sometimes I want to put the cards um, sideways and you know, if there's a kind of a whirlwind energy, I'll, I'll do that. But this energy is an energy that's quite crisp and concise. I want to have it centered in my screen. I want to have all the cards just right. So I think there's something here that's happening currently in this current energy where you're stepping forward in a new way. And I think you have decided what you're going to do. The King of Swords sits in the middle in this reading. Sits in the middle. And usually in my readings, I have um, a card in the bottom that is an overall energy. But I feel in this reading, the King of Swords is an overall energy and he's on the top. So that tells me that I think for this group of you, you have already decided on something and you have stepped forward in a new way, or you're just about to step forward in a new way, um, because we have the Knight of Swords over the top of the Six of Wands and over the top of the King of Swords. So this tells me that you have probably um, decided on something very important with the King of Swords, Aquarius or Libra energy. You've already decided to step forward and you could have already accepted maybe a new job, a new position, maybe even a new you. Maybe there's a new you here um, because there, it does feel with the strength energy and the Ten of Swords in reverse that there has been a period here for you, Virgo, where you've been through something um, somewhat traumatic for you or very traumatic for you with the Ten of Swords in reverse. So this tells me that you're, you have new clarity now. You've moved out of a period of time that has been really difficult for you, maybe a long-term difficulty um, where you've really had to surrender into something that you really maybe have fought off for a long time. Maybe there was a situation that you didn't like and you tried to solve it. You tried to resolve it. You tried to live through it. You tried to make the best of it. It was a long-term situation. And maybe something happened where you were then forced forced um, to, to let it go. Something with the Ten of Swords in reverse, you've surrendered into something. You, you've let something go or you have moved on from something and whatever that was, was difficult and traumatic. And it was could have been a long-term situation with the Ten of Swords in reverse. Now we have the King of Swords, which tells me that you've made a very careful, very logical, very rational um, decision about something um, that is um, bringing in some kind of equality. The King of Swords is an equality consciousness. And so um, I feel like there's new equality here for you and a new kind of um, swift decision making. Okay, swift decision making comes forward. Uh, we do have the Six of Wands. So this tells me that you're stepping forward in a new way. No doubt about it. The Six of Wands is an energy that is very clearly stepping forward in a new way, putting on a new uniform, putting on a new hat, um, coming forward as the new version of yourself. Um, this is coming forward in a way where the community can see you. People recognize you as a, in taking on some sort of different kind of role or being different than you used to be in some way. And you're doing this with a lot of passion now, Virgo. So there's a lot of passion with the wand energy. So it's something that you really feel like it's meant for you. It is a part of who you are. You're, you're feeling vibrant and um, feeling very vigorous for the future to step into it. Um, so it's a very passionate type of energy. Now we have the Knight of Swords over the top of it. So this tells me there's something here that you're about to say that you're about to bring forward, something that you're going to express, some kind of truth that you're going to express here with the Knight of Swords. Now, the Knight of Swords is all about truth and clarity, transparency. Um, it's about destiny. It's about equality. So whatever this is, um, you could have stepped forward in a new way and you could be expressing something new that you're doing or some sort of 
truth that you're that you're about to share something with expression um, it could be in authoring it could be in writing it could be in speaking but it has something to do with information that flows out of you and to another person or it is received by someone else so it is a it's a transportation of um of information or of truth where it's moving from your mouth or from your hand or from your body in some way, but you are expressing some sort of information and it is landing on, it's being received. That's the Knight of Swords energy. So whatever this is, you're stepping forward in a new way. You're excited about it. You're expressing some sort of information and some sort of truth. Um, maybe you're presenting something, um, but it comes after a period of time of um, trouble and um, misery and it, it's taken you a little bit of time here to um, step out of the Ten of Swords and make this decision. So it, it does come with, um, it, it's taken some courage for you, Virgo, um, some real courage here to, to, to look at this situation differently, to look at it differently, and to step forward in a different way has really um, tested you in a way that, um, perhaps you didn't know you had the strength for, perhaps you didn't know that you had this kind of courage, but the fact that we have the strength card over the top of the Ten of Swords in reverse and over the top of the King of Swords tells me that you really have stepped up in a big way. Honestly, you really have stepped up in a big way. You know, what I, what I see here is you're stepping forward here with a lot of passion, with some truth here, some kind of information that you're sharing but what is the backstory in this is really adding depth to what your passion is so this backstory here that we have is coming along with you it might not be seen by others it might not be noticed but it is a part of your energy it is what is helping to fuel the passion here so there is a connection with these there this is an energy that's it's like the backstory you know, this is what is being seen. This is what is being heard. This is being, this is, this is the, the outward you. And this is the internal you that is helping to fuel the passion within you. And it is a part of the story. And as much as we want to move on from the past and forget the past, there, we have to recognize here that this story of, of what has built you to be the powerhouse that you are is part of this story. And it is something that is um, a part of you now. And you will probably be healing from this in the future. But right now is a time of action. It's a time of action and it's time of truth. And we can see here that you have pushed through some kind of wall that has been very, very difficult for you. And yes, there will be healing in the future. I can guarantee there's going to be some sort of healing. But for right now, you have a path to step on with uh, onto that you feel so passionate about. And now it looks like this is a, is a group that's ready to be on the move and ready to step forward in a new way. That's really beautiful, Virgo. It's really fun to see this kind of energy. Congratulations, my friends. All right, let's see here what happens in the future, the next immediate energy that comes in. Ah, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Emperor energy, look at you go. Eight of Cups. Eight of Wands. King of Cups. Five of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Okay, let me get in this energy. There's there's two different energies here, so let me try to figure out where I'm seeing them. Well, there has been some sort of conflict here 
um, with, I, I feel like it's an energy of the emperor energy, um, that you've had some sort of a, there's been some sort of a conflict here with a very, it's, it's about control and restriction. Um, it could have been with a partner. It could be with um, a workplace or with even this energy could be over, over a whole community of people. It could be from an industry of people, like an industry, a, um, a career. Um, it could be, remember, when we're talking about energy and we're looking at a general reading, uh, we're talking about the energy of the emperor. Um, I think that the the person, if this is a person, we're talking more about the king of cups. With the emperor, it's more about the energy of the emperor. Now, with the energy of the emperor, you're talking about someone who um, really finds a lot of strength in processes and guidelines and systems and a way of thinking, a mindset, um, there's a lot of structure that comes with the emperor. And I see the five of wands right on top of the emperor and the five of wands on top of the eight of cups. So that tells me that there's some sort of conflict with this structure energy, the energy of the emperor. Now, there could be a person here, the king of cups, which is a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, doesn't have to be one of those signs. But what the, the personality of the king of cups is a personality of well-being, a personality of um, generosity, of of nurturing. The King of Cups is an energy that goes out into the community, goes out into the family, and creates dynamic, nourishing types of um, of environments for the people there, whether it's the family or the community or the workplace. So this is somebody who likes to take action. They like to fix. They like to bring love and generosity and well-being into the people around them, into the environment around them. All right, so this could be, if we're talking about an energy, this could be an energy that is laid over the top of a workplace, is laid over the top of a community, over the top of a religious group, or it could be a person in your life. So it kind of depends on what your particular situation is, but this is the energy of the King of Cups. All right, there is a wheel of fortune here that's turning, and the King of Cups is on top of the wheel of fortune, and the King of Cups is on top of the emperor. That tells me that this energy of the emperor has... Um, infiltrated into the King of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune is here. This tells me that there's a new movement here um, that that is um, connecting in with the King of Cups, the King of Cups who's been colored by the Emperor energy. So this King of Cups could be someone here in your life. Um, it could be a spouse, could be a father, a brother, um, could be a woman even. It doesn't have to be a man. Remember, we're in the energy of the King of Cups and the King of Cups is a masculine energy who brings love and vitality and nourishment to the environment around him and to the external world around him. The Queen of Cups brings love and vitality and nourishment to the inner self. That's what the Queen of Cups does. So we're not really necessarily talking about gender here, but about the personality and the interests of the, of the person within this King of Cups energy. So it tells me that there is either a person here or a workplace or an environment, which the King of Cups very much is a part of environments and bringing quality of living to an environment. This King of Cups probably, from your perspective, has been overly controlling, perhaps even um, overly dominant in a certain kind of way. Something has happened here with this King of this King of Cups um, that there's new movement. There's something happening. This was something that happened in the past. This could have been part of the Ten of Swords in reverse, right? So whatever the situation is, this is a situation that was part of the past or part of your current situation now. Remember, as we transition through, it's kind of hard in these readings to have a cut line of, okay, now this is happening, and now this is happening, and now this is happening. We know from life it doesn't happen like that. There are energies that blend, and as we move from one energy and from one situation, those energies will blend as we move into a different color. If you think of it as in colors, and you're moving for, from, let's say, from a blue color to a red color, and as those colors transition, they will blend just a little bit. So we can't be too um, structured with, with these readings. We have to realize that as we move from one situation to another, the energy from the past situation will continue to color the energy, uh, the incoming energy just a bit as you make your transition through. And I feel like for this group Virgos, there's a little bit of that energy where there, there is in the future here, as we're talking about the next immediate future, so this could be the next seven to ten days or the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks, whatever it is for you, there's going to be some sort of um, 
there, there's a transition energy. So this group of, of Virgos is transitioning. Um, they're going to be in the process of transitioning. Now, each and every one of you that are resonating with the story, you can be in a little different area of this. But when, once we see this, we see something here that's happened. It's happened in the past or it's happening right now with the Wheel of Fortune. So there's something that's happening here. Something is turning. Whatever it is, maybe that something has happened where you have really hit the last straw. You know, there has been one last thing that happened that put you over the top that has really motivated you to make a change, right? Something happened with the wheel, whether it was something abusive, something traumatic, something overly oppressive, something um, that really indicated to you that now was the time to move forward. There's something here that happened with the wheel of fortune, right? It can be with a lover. It can be with a workplace. It can be within a community. It can even be within a family. Whatever it is for you, whatever the environment is for you, something has happened here with this group of Virgos that has put you on a path of transformation, right? So it's happening now as we move into the future. This is something I think for some of you that has been a long-term situation. You can have for the longest time have been trying to work on this, trying to make this happen. But something is happening now where you're letting it go and you're saying, you know what? I really don't think this is for me anymore. I've tried and tried and tried and I really don't think this is for me. This is not solving itself. It's not helping. I'm not getting healthier. I'm not feeling better. I'm not feeling good about myself. I'm feeling continued to be feeling more diminished. And then something has happened here. Something has happened with this masculine energy, um, this energy of control. See, you have a conflict with it. That tells me there's some sort of conflict and some desire to walk away from this with the Eight of Cups. And there's something happening here. So this is almost like, a, a, a phase one, phase one, right? Something happened. Phase two, conflict, phase and conflict walking away, transition. Phase three, something new coming in. Something new is coming in here. You're connecting in with something new. Some new breath of fresh air, some new opportunity, some new equality is coming in. There is communication anyway. There's something, there's something here that you're receiving with the Six of Pentacles. This is equality, equal give and take. Either this is what you're looking for or there's something here coming in. What I like about this is it's over the top of the Eight of Wands. Now, if the Six of Pentacles is by itself, it tells me that you could be stepping into something or wanting this more or walking into more equality or setting forth in a journey to find equality. But the fact that the Eight of Wands is here, it tells me there's something happening. There's movement, there's activity, there's something really positive happening. So I think this is almost like a phase one, phase two, and a phase three. This is going to be a fast moving energy, Virgo. If it's not fast moving, it's going to take over a period of a month or something, because a lot is happening here. I really like that the end of this period is with the Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. It's a really beautiful energy. It's equality. It's charity. There could even be a gift here, right? There could even be some kind of a new job or new opportunity or new relationship or even a new person here that is really um, fitting into the energy of the Six of Pentacles. Somebody who's generous, who's kind, who understands the value of equal giving, equal receiving, right? This right here, there's something here that's not fitting with you. This energy doesn't fit with your energy anymore. The fact that you have the Five of Wands here and the Eight of Cups tells me that something about this energy is not fitting anymore. It's not doing it for you anymore. It's not bringing in health and vitality anymore. There's a need here um, that somebody is walking away. Somebody is walking away and they're walking away into an energy of equality and into an energy of optimism, activity, communication, travel, passion. It's a good energy. That's why, why the Ten of Swords in the current energy is in reverse, because this is a situation that's coming to an end. These years of struggle, um, of confusion, of mental um, trauma, those years are now um, moving into the past as the Ten of Swords is slipping away. So this is a really good energy, Virgo, as you step into the future. And it's depending on where you are in this cycle, because I think there could be some of you that are just here, and some of you are right here. This is almost like three readings into one reading. 
we'll take it if we can get it, right, Virgo? It's a gift to this group of Virgos that it's being kind of brought forward in this way. I haven't had a reading like this um, in a very long time, but it's a very hopeful, it's a transition era energy and it's a very hopeful energy. And it might not even be something that's super epic either, Virgo. It might be something that you're just dealing with that's like a month or two month long scenario. It doesn't have to be a, an epic life story here because these are weekly readings that I do. It can just be something that you're dealing with over the next month or two. Whatever it is, I see a quick transition here. Beautiful. All right, let's see what the guidance is for Virgo. Three of Cups. Tower. Uh, don't you like how you say tower? <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, but see, these are good energies. There is a tower here. There is a big change here for you. Whenever you have the Ten of Swords in reverse, that talks about a big change coming in. And maybe this tree was rotten and maybe it needed to go. Maybe there was something that came from the universe, came from the heavens, that really kind of put an end to this tree. Maybe this tree was meant to go. Look, there are black birds swarming all around it. Right? So I'm not saying that trees are negative and trees are bad. I love trees. They are such a beautiful... I'm just saying it's just... <laughs> See this energy here, this energy here is, um, it's an energy that you've struggled with for a while. Because when I get into this energy, I feel all back and forth. I feel like this and oh, no, 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 this and this is, oh, no, no, no. I feel like you could have been in this energy for a while. Like this doesn't feel good, but oh yeah, but you know, he's just doing that. They're just doing that or it, it's going to get better. Oh, this is so terrible. I hate going to work in the morning. Monday mornings are the worst. Oh, but it's going to get better because they say, you know, it's that kind of an energy and that could have went on for a while. And I feel like something just happened that came out of the blue or something that was like the last straw for you. We have the Three of Cups here. Doesn't it feel kind of like, ooh, this energy kind of wants to go in here. I just feel like there was a lot of people, a lot of people, mm, this Three of Cups just doesn't feel so good right now. Especially next to the tower and these energies, these energies kind of want to go together. Yeah, and what I just heard in my head is that's true, but let's not add fuel to the fire. That's true, let's not. So I don't want to stay too long on these energies because this is something that you're actually moving away from, right? You're actually moving away from, from it, and it's not really a need to kind of stay in this energy. We're talking about death energy here, which is a Scorpio energy, and the Hierophant energy, which is a Taurus energy. Um, there has been a transformation within you. And as you have been transforming within, you are going to now be, be able to see how transformation takes place in your exterior world. Because once you change on the interior, um, eventually, eventually that fence will break, that boundary will break, and you, you, your body, your passion within you, the mind that you have, the soul that you have, once you have a reckoning, once you have some sort of clarity around a situation like the Tower and the Three of Cups, uh, your body and soul and your mind will not allow you to stay within this um, energy very long. You will, you will begin. Yeah, I'm taking this energy and turning it over. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. You'll begin to um, muster a way to muster a way to step out of that energy. You have had some sort of a transformation with the Hierophant energy. And the Hierophant energy is a beautiful energy. It's an energy of trust and faith. It's an energy of structure. It's an energy of religious systems and societal systems that help everyone move in, in ways that bring cohesiveness and bring, bring a, a system and a structure to society and to our communities that we live in. But sometimes a hierophant can actually be something that can constrain us, restrain us. It can oppress us, right? And it can be um, the hierophant oftentimes is formed um, because of the need for people to find, to feel there. there is a need that we have within us, especially if we are have been wounded or if we are needing to lean on something, we really do find some kind of a um, true, um, heartfelt, sincere value for the Hierophant, right? Because it's a structure that we can lean on, we can gain information from, we can gain strength from, 
we can have leadership and we have someone that we can lean on that we can follow right and then sometimes especially when we've been through trauma or maybe if we are a type of person um, that prefers to be um, in a more quieter place in our lives we really can find value in the higher fun energy remember the higher fun energy is like a highway system it creates roads and road systems and traffic rules and um, ways for people to go about their business go about their day and and be cohesive with other people and be able to get somewhere safely and feel safe and structured within their environment but we have the death energy looking at looking at and standing next to the higher font. There's tells me there's been some sort of internal transition that you've been going through with what you need from the heart, from the higher font. What does a higher font represent to you? And what do you need from the higher font energy? Because I think there's been some sort of a transition for you here. So what you needed a long time ago from the higher font energy is a different need now that you are looking for from the higher font. What does your higher font look like? What does it look like for you? Because this is a very strong energy. I feel like with this energy, you could really kind of come in and, and make a ruin, make ruins out of the higher fun energy, the higher fun energy that you've known before. So in, in a way, there's some sort of a restructuring for you of what kind of higher font is meant for you. This is about community. This is about structure. This is about breaking free of traditions or breaking free, free of um, constraints that have held you down. This is about moving freely forward in your own destiny. So I really think that I'm not saying the Hierophant is bad. I think the Hierophant is beautiful. It's a counterpart energy to the high priestess, the internal knowing, internal structure, internal connection that we have with the divine energy. Right. But I think it's, it's a recognizing now of the kind of higher fun energy that is most welcoming for you. What kind of higher fun energy would be the most helpful and beneficial for you as you move forward? There's some sort of a transition here around the higher fun energy. Could even be about your belief system, about your religious structure. What brings you strength now? Now that you have been through this transition, you're going to find something different here with, with this sort of structure here, structure of, of your exterior world as far as society, religious beliefs, um, the way you operate and what you need and what you really gain and give to the community around you in some way. So um, it's, it's a really beautiful energy. Um, we're talking about the death energy. We're talking about the Ten of Swords in reverse. We're talking about a tower energy. So it, it has been a, a journey to get to this place. But I think when, when we start to see the death energy, that tells me that you're at a place now where you can move forward. You have surrendered into this. You are starting to realize this. And now you can move forward with a new rebirthing of yourself. And that's what we're getting to see here for this group of Virgos. All right, Virgo, I am going to move into the extended now and let me see what energies I'm going to, I'm going to look at the six of pentacles. Most certainly I want to see what this king of cups has to say. I think that would be interesting to see what he has to say. I'm interested in the eight of wands. What is this that's coming in? Is this communication? Is it travel? What is this? I'm interested in that energy. I'm kind of interested in this wheel of fortune too. Let me see here. I usually only want to do four because it takes me a little while to do them. Oh, man, there is just so many energies, but I wanna focus on the future here. I don't really need to do guidance. I don't really need to know what the tower is. You guys know what that tower is. Hmm. I wanna give you information that's really gonna be helpful. And I think that what you, you know, I would go into the Six of Wands and the Knight of Swords, but that's something you're you're experiencing currently. So I think the future is is more important. So I'm going to stick with these energies. I am interested in this King of Cups and what he has to say, but but really this Eight of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and this Wheel of Fortune, this is interesting to me, and I think it might interest you as well. So I'm going to dig into those energies in the extended, and then I'll take the situation out into the month of June. I'll go month by month or by energy wave by energy wave um, as we move out in four i'm going to go out four energy waves we already looked at one energy wave that's coming in and now i'll look at the next four energy waves 
We can say it by month or we can say it by energy wave. It's probably more accurate to say it by energy wave, but if you want to call it by month, that's fine too. So that's what the extended reading is going to be. It's been a pleasure to read for you, Virgo. It's always so much fun to read for the Virgo energy. Um, it's, it's very similar to Aquarius, and I'm, I have a lot of Aquarius in my chart. It's really similar to that because we can be very logical and rational. Um, and so the information just flows really easily, and it's almost so much fun to be here for you, Virgo. And I really wish you the best as you move into the future. Um, thank you all very much. Thank you.